Okay, so you're ready to set up a business. So first thing you're gonna need to do to set up a business is to get a EIN number. Just like when you're born, you get a social security number. Your EIN number is given to you when your business is born. It's the employer identification number and it's just like a social security number. It's used for tax purposes. So you're going to go to irs.gov, irs.gov, and you'll be on a page that looks just like this. From there, you'll go to the search at the top and type in EIN, and you'll see the first match here is apply for an EIN. You'll come down right to here, apply online now, and you'll begin the application. I'm gonna actually do it for you, so that way you can see the step-by-step -step how it is done. Here you'll come, you'll begin the application. Now, at this point, you should have determined whether this is gonna be a sole proprietor, meaning you're gonna be doing this by yourself, a partnership, meaning there's more than you, or a corporation or a limited liability corporation. Those are the, those are the four types. Um, we have a video about this, uh, which hopefully you watched. I would highly recommend to start off, the simplest way would be an LLC. An LLC is still a sole proprietorship. It's just limited liability, as long as you understand what an LLC is. And once again, I'm definitely not a lawyer, so you're gonna wanna contact a lawyer to get deeper insight. But the insight that I have is an LLC, as long as the funds from my LLC don't mingle with my personal account, it limits my liability. That is why when we first set up our business we set it up as a limited liability company and then you know later on you can make changes and have partnerships and maybe one of the partners be an S corporation or, or something like that which might provide you with some tax benefits but is still legal um, so for myself here I'm going to now choose limited liability company and click continue Okay, you've chosen limited liability. It tells you what it is and what it is not. After you read over that, click continue again and then put in how many members. For myself, how many members or owners is just gonna be myself, one. And then select the area where the business is going to be located. For us, it is New Jersey, okay? It gives you some more information about a single member LLC, since that's what we've chosen. Once I've read over this, I will go ahead and click continue. Okay, now why am I creating this LLC or requesting an EIN actually for this LLC? And the reason is I am starting a new business. So I will click that and I will continue. Okay, now it tells me to put in the information of the responsible party member or the person who's creating this or requesting the EIN for this LLC. I'm gonna put my name in here and then my social security number, which is 999. 999999. And then it asks whether you're uh, reg registering a third party applying for an EIN on behalf of this LLC or whether you're one of the owner members. And that's what I am. So I'm going to choose I am an owner member and click continue. Okay, now I put the address where uh, the LLC is located. Uh, by now, you should already have an address picked out, whether it's going to be your residential address, whether it is going to be an actual maybe retail storefront you have or a commercial location you have. Or if not, you can go ahead and open up account at your local UPS store or a local PostNet store. Uh, you cannot use the United States Postal Service because even though that is a mailbox and it looks exactly like the mailbox inside a UPS store, the difference is a United States Postal Postal Service box is considered a P.O. box and you must use a U.S. address. You, do, you cannot enter a P.O. box. So a UPS box, even though it looks like a P.O. box, it is not a P.O. box. The P.O. stands for Postal Office Box. So 
you can actually use that and it's considered a sweet. So I just wanted to chime in here real quick and give you a little bit more insight into what we did before we got our EIN number. What we wanted was a little bit of separation from our home address and our business. So we went to our local UPS store, but before doing that, before you do that, what you wanna do is just Google business name search and then your state's abbreviation. So for us, it was business name search NJ. And after the ads, the third, fourth website down was nj.gov. And right there was the portal to show you uh, business names and see if the name that we were looking for was available. So for us, we would type in Amazon Lit and see if it's available and if it is, then we went to our local UPS store and we opened up a business address under that name. So when we went to register for the EIN, we could use that address as our business address instead of our home address, giving us a little separation. You know, it's completely up to you. You can absolutely use your home address and put a suite number in there, even though it's not necessarily a suite. And then you could take a percentage of your home and that becomes tax deductible, uh, right? Let's say 500 square feet is your office space or your workspace that becomes tax deductible at the end of the year. You know, different options you have here. Opening up the UPS box, of course, will also be tax deductible or be a write-off rather at the end of the year. But just wanted to share that with you. Let's get back to the video. So once I put all the information in, I put my phone number in, uh, it asks, do you have an address different from the above where you want the mail sent? For myself, no, I want it sent there. And I will click continue. Okay, I had an error because I put a period next to the S. So for South, so I'm gonna actually spell out the word South and click continue. And then it just checks uh, what they found in their database and I verify that's correct. Yes, it is correct and I accept that. And now the legal name of my LLC. Now remember, the legal name really isn't that important right now. I mean, I could put in Sebastian Corporation, Sebastian, you know, whatever company, and I could put a DBA in, which is what my business is gonna be doing business as, such as Amazon Lit, you know, so the legal name of my LLC could be Sebastian Company and my DBA or doing business as could be Amazon Lit. Now remember when you're creating your Amazon account and when it asks you for your seller name, the seller name does not have to be the legal name of the LLC or even a DBA. This, it's just the name that you are going to be using that you're going to be displaying on Amazon for the listings you're selling on. So once I put in my name, Amazon Lit 2 and now I'm going to put the county where I am, the state, the state territory where to, where I'll be organizing which is also New Jersey. Then the start date will be October 2019 and I click continue. Okay, now for most of these questions, if you are setting up a business or getting an EIN for a business that's gonna be selling on Amazon, you are going to click no. Uh, if your business is going to be registering for any other purposes, then you're gonna to have to read over these. But uh, does my business own highway motor vehicle with taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds? No. Am I involved in gambling? No. Uh, excise tax return, no. Business sell, manufacture tobacco, alcohol, no. Do you have or do you expect to have any employees who receive Forms W-2 in the next 12 months? I could put no for now. And even if I do get employees in the future, um, this can all be added to at that point. So right now you could go right through here and click no if you are just creating an, a business or trying to get an EIN for a business that's going to be selling on amazon.com. Now here where I ask what type of business it is for us, selling on Amazon will be retail because it says retail store or internet sales exclusively. So that's where we fit in and we click continue. Now it asks more about our retail store. 
So for myself, and most likely for you, you will be selling goods exclusively over the internet. Now in the future, if your business grows and you're doing wholesale distribution, maybe you open up a couple retail stores, brick and mortar fronts, this can all be changed, but I would recommend at that point just separating, creating a new LLC to limit the liability that you have on a company. So if something happens to the internet company, you still have your brick and mortar, so you still have your distribution or wholesale company, or vice versa. I click continue, and now I'm gonna click receive the letter online, which will happen actually immediately. So within a few minutes of processing. So now here, I'm just verifying and confirming that all my information is correct, the organization type, the address, the responsible party, uh, the principal business activity and the additional information and then from here I will click submit and that's it within a couple minutes You'll have an EIN a form SS4 form which looks like this we assigned you an employer identification number Thank you for applying it gives you your EIN gives you your EIN on top as well the date of the notice and all the information, all the important reminders pertaining to your EIN. That's it. You have now officially born a business. It is now taxable and uh, you're ready to go. Congratulations. You're now ready to create your account on Amazon.com.